G'day guys, back again. We are outside on a very hot day. I think it's 40 degrees. Yeah, 40 degrees Celsius. Um, as you can see, with the uh, air con on, very, very uh, high because it's roasting out here. Um, we got a Mazda 3 uh, 2 litre petrol with 190,000 Ks on the clock and it's coming for the engine light on and um, I think there was another light on and we've just got the Verus on it let's have a look at the codes 661 intake manifold control circuit 715 turbo speed 732 gear 2 incorrect ratio and 733 in gear 3 incorrect ratio so what I'm going to do is clear the codes. I've written these down, I've recorded it, so I'm going to clear the codes, go for a road test, see what, how the car drives and see if any of these come back and then we'll go from there. Alright, so I cleared the codes, I've just gone for a drive and as soon as I clicked second to third gear, AT light and the engine light on and the code that has come back is P0715. So I'm going to clear this, head back to the shop comes back on again we're gonna know that this is definitely faulting so we'll decide what to do from there so before I head back I just want to look at some live data I've got the turbine speed sensor up at the moment and I'm idling and clearly you can see it's definitely working so I'm gonna road test this with the live data going and let's see what happens unluckily for us it did not fail again and as you can see it's working perfectly it's at the moment it's matching the rpm of the engine um, when it did fail before it was dead cold so first things first i might just go outside and try the tap test tap and wiggle test and see what comes of that and then we'll decide what we need to do from there all righty instead of doing the wiggle test or we did do that and it didn't make a difference i uh, i let it get cold and i've tested it the next day and as you can see Look, our RPM is working normally and our turbine speed sensor is doing nothing and they should be matching in park. So I'm going to run this inside and we'll get the scope connected and see if we can get a signal to or from or check the connector and see what's going on. Alright, so we had to take a few things off to get to the turbine speed sensor, also known as the pulse generator sensor from the Mazda catalog. Had to take off the air box, a uh, couple of little ductings. And, um, and then move a little bit of wiring at the way. And we are just down here. Let me get a light so you can see that a bit better. But that's where we are, right there. It's a two wire variable reluctance sensor. So it creates its own voltage, much like uh, you know some of the uh, cam position and crank position sensors we get. So we're just plugged into one side of it. We uh, key on at the moment and we've got uh, Mm, about the two and a half voltage there we're waiting on the screen here so what I'm going to do is we are cold so I am going to uh, record the Pico and now we are going to go crank it and let's see what we get As you can see at the moment we have RPM but we have no transmission or turbine speed sensor input and as you can see we have nothing happening on the Pico either. So it's two wire sensor but you know probably satisfy your curiosity. I'll go to the other, other side of the sensor just to make sure because I'm sure you're wanting to know is it the same on both sides in case we've got something funny going on. If I can get the light on there. We're still around the 2 volt mark there on the other side of the actual connector and there is no activity at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep an eye on this. I'm going to wait until this heats up and then we'll confirm whether we're getting a signal and the transmission speed signal comes back on the uh, scan tool. So let's just wait until it heats up and see what happens. So as you can see our temperature is up now. We are pretty warm, and if we go to the scan tool, we can see that we have our uh, TSS signal back. 
and we also have the scope signal back so clearly this is a failing sensor we're going to put a brand new sensor on it and then we're going to make sure it's working and then we'll go from there Okay, we got the new sensor in. Uh, we've put everything back together. We don't need to scope it. We know from before that this is a cold fault. So when the sensor's cold, it's not working. So all we have to do is get some pins up, start this up, make sure we've got a signal from cold and we know it's gonna be fixed. So as you can see here by our ECT status, we are 38 degrees, which is basically what the temperature is outside right now. So if I get back out of that, let's go to transmission. Let's bring up the uh, engine RPM deselect all, get it, bring up the engine RPM and the turbine speed sensor. Where are you? There we are, graph view. So let's start it up and see what happens. As you can see, already working, already matching the RPM. There we go, that's a fix. So just gonna go for a drive, make sure the car drives great and uh, we'll give the customer a ring to pick it up. But uh, that's perfect. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you next time.